Now you may begin. I had to change the graphic for the for the YouTube. Oh, all right. Cut later. So, 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 so Trevor Lawrence started. Um, <laughs> was it like three or four games into his sophomore year? His record in high school is fifty-two and two. He they were undefeated state championship sophomore year, undefeated state championship junior year, and then uh, they had a forty-one game win streak going on. So the, I don't know they lost. They probably they, so they probably lost the end of his freshman year, and then they lost maybe the state championship game senior year. Okay, fifty-two and two. Then look at what he did at Clemson, undefeated national championship freshman year, undefeated lost in the national championship game sophomore. Year. He's lost three games, three games since he started starting <laughs> since out of eighth grade. Freshman year. <laughs> Dude, this guy was getting recruited. Yeah, eighth grade. Or That's insane. Grade or something. I mean, in his in his numbers, he ran, he threw what is this? He threw twenty six touchdowns. He and broke yards as a freshman. Yeah. In high school, 3000. He was, I mean, this is just insane. He, he's so uber talented. Um, you know, we, we, he was hyped up, but at, at, honestly, when you watch him, he deserves all of the hype. Yep. Dude, he yep. threw for 13,902 yards and 161 touchdowns in high school. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. That's crazy. He broke all Deshaun Watson's state record. Just Andy, thinking about those now. numbers, 13,000 yards. Jeez. In high school. What? Hey, Unreal. Right. Hold on. I'm doing us some math. 13,900. Yeah. And, and he got engaged. I'm just going to point that out. You know, so, I mean, you want to think in terms of maybe a guy that has his head on his shoulders. You know what I mean? He's like, he wants to sell oh, it yeah. down. That's not going to be distraction, that stuff too. He's engaged? Yep. yep. He just got engaged over the summer here. Yep. Sorry, and yeah, guys. every interview I've ever seen, he seems like a total stand-up guy. Got it. He has his priorities straight. Seems to be the ultimate leader. You know, able to be outspoken without being a distraction. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it's really hard to find anything negative about this guy. Mm -hmm. he, he's not. He's not smoking a cigar after a win. You know what I mean? Might. I don't think. What's so. wrong with smoking a cigar after a win? I'm just joking, man. I was like, damn, dude. Look at six this six guy. two twenty two. Hey, Jared likes his cigars, all right? Chill out. Yes. Yeah, he's a he's a little black he's and mild huge. every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> a little black and mild. <laughs> it's been a while, but a little so freak right, it, you know, it. freak a mile. All right. <laughs> Fifty one minutes in. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, I said three hour pot and Jim X like, oh no way, man. Nah. Second and five. My NCAA stream. game's not getting. Nick, we're starting with you again, man. Same order. Okay. So this is a negative to start off with. Okay. So RPO, right? And you're going to see down here at the bottom, this is Higgins. He's got a dig. Okay. Comes in. And from the other angle, you can see. He's like, ah, I don't think so. He's like, ah, I'm just going to try it anyway. Right here, he's like, mm. and tries it. Now, again, he gets tipped. But he, see, he looks right at the safety. Nah, I'll try it anyway. You know, and that's you know, trust his arm strength, etc. But to me, this is don't don't throw this because yeah. good thing I got tipped because that that was gonna get picked. I feel like he kind of freaked out a little bit. He saw that blitz coming. He's like, shit, shit. Yep. So that was that was definitely a negative. Yeah, I noticed he did that a little bit in this game. Like I don't know what it, he just had a jitters mm -hmm. this early in the season or something. Well, well, and, and you want to look he at started it off run? slow this year. He, he threw, what was it? He threw eight picks in the first. I mean, I have to check the numbers. I'll check one. It when was you, like five games or something like that. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, a really slow start, but then a great ending. Yep. This play's unreal. On the run. So. Great pickup by ATN. So here, he, he gets flushed because of the pressure, right? So one. This is that athleticism, you know. It's like, okay, he's not that. He's athletic. look at him go because I mean, this guy they did a twist. He's like, he's coming, he's coming. So you look at where he throws his ball, and you're like, man, he just threw it up. He did it because there's leverage on the outside here, and he yep. threw it high and outside, and that guy can't look. That that's a free ball. Like that guy's not going to pick that off. Yeah, his so head just me, turned. It was it, he. He bought time, made this play, safe ball, and completed. Gave his receiver a chance. That's it. Unbelievable play. Luckily, he has a basketball player to throw it to down there. <laughs> Big T Higgins fan, as you guys know. Oh, yeah. I love him. Hopefully, he can get he healthy. healthy. Yep. Yeah. Was he a hamstring right now, right? That's what I heard. I hate Same those. Same I knew this. Mims, be... man. Yeah. There's going to be a bunch like of this. those this year. 
Yeah, we're already five. starting to see a lot of injuries. Third and five, 14, zero. Got two by two. Damn. Man, I thought that he, they should have caught this. Yep. Oh, he didn't? Is this Ladson? So, so to me, that part doesn't matter. Look at this timing in this blitz. He's got to move and get rid of it. And that's a safe ball. Like, that's the, the throw on this is insane. The arm, From the hip. <laughs> the arm talent. Look at this. He just has to. It's outside, nice and safe. Yeah. I mean. He's so damn big, dude. Like, that's a that's an unbelievable ball. Yeah. Even even if it's just incomplete, that's throwing that away. You give your guy a shot on that. Like, it's. Yeah. He knows he has man-to-man -man here. Yep. And that's and that's in terms of pre-snap. I mean, you look yeah. at the leverage. Corners inside. He's like, I can throw it outside. Ladson's too, right? Um, I think so. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure. All right, thanks for stopping by, Josh. Appreciate you. Let's see what's the situation here. <clears throat> Fourteen first and three, first and ten. First and ten. Yeah. Six minutes ago in the second quarter. Let's see, we got middle of the field closed. Safety. Mm -hmm. It's like man to man cover one. A little rotating. That boy T. Was, yeah. So, see ya. So to me, this was great recognition by both him and Higgins because he's looking. Like, okay, this is where I'm going to go. And he waits because Higgins doesn't get over the top on this guy. You know, and we talk about, you know, even you're leaving and stacking. Higgins didn't get there. This corner had him. So the adjustment is then you, then you settle down. That's what it like, a, almost like a comeback. But here they, they go to a back shoulder. So both Lawrence and Higgins had to know that's what they were going to do. So watch here. You can see 23 is on him. He's not going to get beat deep. It's like, okay, back shoulder. So he threw it trusted where he was going to start looking on the back shoulder and Higgins adjust. I thought that was just, that's, that's just rapport. NFL stuff. Yep. That's rapport. I mean, that's what Aaron Rodgers and Jordy Nelson did for years. Yeah. So many back shoulder balls. Dude, you can't defend a great back shoulder throw with no. two guys that are on the same page like that. No. It's so hard to defend. Mm -hmm. Cause you're guessing you're like trying to time it on the goal line. You can, cause you're like, mm -hmm. they're probably going to go front pile on, but especially when the receiver's good at, you know, not telling that the ball's coming. Mm -hmm. late, He's got that kind of size and, and physicality. Yeah. That's a great play. For sure. Moving on here. Got first and 10 third quarter, 17, six. Man, again, they, they're running a lot of cover one here. Yep. He's getting double teamed into the end zone. Yep. And then he goes down, too, and he kind of got throws the guy. He's kind of mad. Yeah, I'd be pissed, too. I almost so, threw my controller through my screen last night. Oh, too. So go back to the beginning of this. Okay, so look look at matchups, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we got the safeties coming up. He's got less area over there, right? Right there on the release, you just know that guy's not going to have it, probably. Right? Doesn't get a good release. The corner's all on him. Why are you throwing, right? Yeah. I mean, so who is that? Is that T? Um, is it Mario Rogers? I think it's T Higgins. Okay. Yeah, it might be, but he he doesn't get a good release. So right, he he released really wide off the line of scrimmage, corners in his hip pocket. It's yeah. a little different than the back shoulder because the that corner was bailing so much more. This guy's not. No, so I think right Lawrence on. needs to see that and come off of it. And he doesn't. He's got he could go to Ross, run a post, yeah, throw the ball away. Now again, it's kind of lucky how this tips and you know gets picked, but that's a little bit on T too. I mean, he's yep. got a. He's got to throw win. outside. He got body. Yeah, throw, throw it outside. outside. He missed inside a little bit for sure. Yep. Let's see if he can make a tackle. Oh, he's getting double teamed. We got the quarterback here. Yeah. 
I just, I, I must have cut it. He gets run over there and then tries to throw the guy. <laughs> This is a bad one. Yep. He knows it. Slams the ground. Yep. So right here, I mean, it, it's it's open if there's not an underneath defender. And a lot of times with picks is, you know, Jaywack, the underneath defenders, the guys you don't even look at. Yeah, he didn't even see him. Doesn't even look at it. Wide open. Boom. Just did it right to him. Just so. Him. And gets juked. You know, and I don't know if that's, <laughs> I, I don't know if that's not pre-snap, seeing what guy was going to be. Yeah, I don't know. Buzz in there, but that's a that's a misread. I mean, that guy's been there. He's there. Huh. What would you call this, Nick? Is this? I mean, it looks manned, then they kind of pass it off at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think it's a zone. It's just a matchup zone. Yeah. You know, cover. I don't know. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of you're, you got you know, two on the bottom down here or cover four on the bottom and you got single high on the top, you know. Yeah, it's, split it's field coverage. Yep. I love split field coverages, man. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of offenses are running split field offenses. Like if you got middle of the field cover. open, you're going to left. You got middle cover field Cover two beater here, cover three beater here. Yep. And I guess what we mean in middle of the field open is you're looking at the safeties. So, um, here we got middle of the field. I mean, this one's kind of tough. I'd say closed because yeah. that guy's on that hash. Is <laughs> Usually the two there. safeties up top you would say open, but uh, this one's a little different. Say that's middle field closed. Yep. Um, then the safeties are split, like cover two, cover four, middle of the field open. All right, moving on. Yeah, I'll just go to the next play. So we got second and ten. Second and six. NC State now. What a ball. So we, we talked about this with Fields. I mean. Under duress, too. Well, okay, we talked about this earlier. Watch his feet. Mm -hmm. Watch his feet. He does play action here, right? RPO sets. Moves, sets, throws the guy's face, dime, wide side of the field, arm strength. Like, this is insane pro throw. I don't know how many NFL quarterbacks are doing this throw. Yeah, that was right over top of 21. I don't know. It was a, that's a ball. He's spinning it. So a lot of what I noticed with Lawrence, um, I feel like he, as opposed to Fields, didn't have a lot of plays where he was going through reads. He kind of, it was, yep. he knew where he was going with the ball, first read, and then that was that was pretty much it. And I think that's, you know, more of a scheme thing as opposed to he can't do it type mm. of thing. Um, or, or it's pre-snap. He's better at pre-snapping too. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you can, if you can tell, you know, through film study and pre-snap what they're probably going to do, then you don't have to make one read. Right. Um Second and four, and he's in the ACC, so. <laughs> Someone said that earlier, They're like easier. I love this. Dude, this is this is attitude. This is, I don't think I included uh, another clip I saw, but there's one later where he ran his own read like this, and he, he walks in. As he walks in, he turns to look at the guy that should have been there. Yeah. I love that in a quarterback. Give me you want some of that attitude. You want yeah. some of that swagger. Yeah. What happened? Ain't nothing. What Thank happened? You. Okay. Um yeah, earlier I said I love when the quarterback will get down. Not not in these situations. Go get it. Yeah, if it's the end zone, that's a different story. Yep. For sure. And, and right there, that that's his size. He trusts his size. He doesn't take a ton of hits, but that's size, that's athleticism. He's a big boy. Actually, he took a lot of hits freshman year. I, I didn't see a ton this year, but he took a lot of extra hits he shouldn't have. Like, damn. Oh, should have caught that. So we're here. Watch him stare at this safety. He's like, okay, where are you going to go? 
You're right there in the middle. You're in the middle. Okay, I got it. Reset his feet. Dime or not? I don't know. Seconds. Should have caught the ball. I mean, that's a long throw. That's opposite hash again. Yeah. Yeah, and it was already what forty-five yards. Jeez. Good feet here. I like how he's mm. looking at the safety. Reading, read, reading through the goalposts. So my coaches used to always tell us, you know, you're reading through the goalpost, reading through the safeties. What are they doing? They tell a story. Did, did they, they teach you to read boundary safety first? Um, no, not really. I mean, it was just okay. open close. Yeah. Open close, reading through the goalposts, watching for rotations, stuff like that. I always found boundary safety would, would give it away quicker than the field safety would. Yeah. So you got more room, field does, but boundary, they, you know, they'll declare a little earlier, I feel like. So this was one. Can you go back to the situation quick? Yeah. Third and 10. I mean, you're not going to get there. Just, just get down, you know? Yep, 100%. I didn't know if that's what you're going to say when you sent me this cut. Yeah. So he's, and I'm so thinking in my head. Three yeah. yards in. Get down. get down. You're not beating. No. Nope. Beating these guys. And you're up. I'm going to say they're up, what, 28 nothing at this point? Yeah, save your body. Yeah, no you, point in you're the that. franchise, man. Get down. Yep. All right. Different oh, game. Oh, on to me. Ooh, we're through Nick. I think you had like... <laughs> I think you had like... I have a bunch of them on this one, too. On Lawrence. I had 20 clips. I love it. <laughs> I love, I love this stuff. Second I, I kept my allotted six and six. Hey, these are two of the top quarterbacks. We had to do a good one here. Damn. So this was the throw I was thinking of uh, originally that I thought was from Fields, and it was actually from Lawrence. Oh, that's but, a money shot. But, I mean, look at that. Opposite hash, out, oh, and right between the two defenders right on the sideline. Six. Like Cover two. To be able to squeeze that ball in, first of all, it takes some major confidence. But also, one of the things, if you could roll it to uh, the, the the end zone view real quick. Go ahead and run it through. Man, just the, I mean, he put it literally right over top of, of the corner right before and he gave just got it out just quick enough that he wouldn't get cleaned up by the safety it's just i mean i i can't think of a more perfect throw yeah you talk about small window throws this is one of those you got to be able to hit these windows against cover two this is one of the weaknesses of playing cover two defenses yep hitting that that soft spot up there right right there and then between the safeties in the middle yep that safety's pretty wide for cover two, though. You he know was what I mean? he was moving out at pre snap. Mm -hmm. He was working his way over there. But again, there's no one in the middle really to threaten. You know, I was so. say there's field side and two two receivers over there. Yeah, I mean, great play call too. Look, you got a guy working in the middle of the field. Yeah. Well, actually, it kind of looks like Tampa too. If that middle backer's running. Yeah, Maybe that's Tampa that is Tampa. Watch nineteen. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. And Tampa two, Nick, you want to explain it? Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so Tampa two, Tampa two is really a cover three. So the, both safeties get really wide here, as we're seeing, right? The safety sprinting over, and then the middle linebacker will basically take the middle third of the field. So you know, Chicago was you know really known for this um, after you know Tampa Bay had it with Monty Kiffin, but Erlacher played that. Erlacher was a safety linebacker in college, so he would take that middle third. And it's hard to get there, as you can see that backer taking the the scene. Um, I, I actually really like Tampa two. Tampa two is uh, easier to to throw some checkdowns, kind of in the middle of the field there. That's that's the biggest weakness. So you have to really dink and dunk your way down the field, and be patient, unless you have Trevor Lawrence dude, who can drop arm. dimes. Yep, dude. And how tight that spiral is. Mm -hmm. I use pretty the cool. whiteboard. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> All right, yeah, go ahead and get the next one up.
All right. So I'm not sure. And, and once again, you guys are more the quarterback experts than I am here, but I feel like he was really setting up his guy to fail here on this throw. Uh, you already had the safety over top and it, trying to close it in, into a window there where if he catches that he's getting, he's getting hit hard. Uh, I, I'm not sure why he threw that football personally. So it's third and 14. Mm-hmm. So I think he's just trying to get it. I mean, that's the only way he's converting. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess he's open if you make the throw. It's just a little high. Yeah. He misfired. Yeah. He, he could have, it could have been a little bit more outside, but he, maybe he's doing that. He doesn't want to lead him into the safety. Um, right. This is a pretty, I'm okay with the decision. It was just a bad throw. They're obviously in, they're playing they're playing the sticks. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they got three safeties deep. Yeah. Oh, they're real deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're probably too deep, honestly. So honestly, I think he makes the right decision here. He just misses it a little bit and yep. definitely sets his guy up to get crushed. <laughs> he should have caught it. I'm not sure why that that outside safety there was so hesitant. Like I would have been breaking it hard. <laughs> he kind of was low playing it a little wood. bit. Like that's your opportunity for a highlight real hit, unless he's worried about <laughs> targeting or something like that. But right. that's what I was seeing as a defensive player. Like I'm licking my chops as a guy with a, his ribs exposed like that. Like that's just, that's an opportunity for a kill shot. Yeah. I love the feet here though. I mean, just keeping a wide base, boom, boom, kind of hopping. Yep. He doesn't, doesn't heel click. Not too toesy. Yeah. He's keep the cleats in the ground. Both these guys are very fundamental. Just God, so many tools in the toolbox, both of them. Both can mm-hmm. run, great arms, great fundamentals. Both are great, high-character guys. You know, you don't hear yep. shit about them. No, nothing about either one. Third and 11 here. And uh, they're down three. So this is one of the few games where, you know, they actually were in a contest. And AM's not a bad football team. Oh, look at that. Just a flick. Just look at that. Stepping up, able to roll out. And then he's rolling to his opposite side, gets his shoulders turned. Did you see how he got his shoulders turned there? Yeah. And delivered an absolute strike. He's one of the best throwers on the run that I think I've seen in a long time. Just from different platforms and shit. Just he's special. Man. Dude, that's so hard, man. He's special. That's like the Michael Jordan Love that there. <laughs> I just couldn't believe running the opposite direction to be able to get his shoulders turned that well. Man. So we got cover two. Scramble rules. Yep. <laughs> Can you go back quick? I think this <laughs> this quarterback class is I mean, Burrow and Tua is a good class, too. I mean, this one's hands down, I think, better. Oh, it's better, yeah. Even, I, mean, I, I mean, with I'm, Lance, too. I like Lance as well. These two are definitely better than so Someone asked earlier how we, how we combine the last three classes, you know, Kyler and them. But to me, it's Lawrence alone. And then the next group is Tua and Burrow and Fields and Murray. They're in that group. But I agree. Lawrence is head and shoulders above everyone else. Second and ten. Boston College, so we're switching switching games here. Another one, <laughs> opposite hash, A howitzer strike, and he gets it there so quick that he actually gave it. And I think that's what Rogers, yeah, that's Rogers. He actually gave him a chance to potentially do something with that. That's how quickly and how strong his arm is. How quickly he got that ball there yep, on time, accurately. Like you, you're guessing where that guy's breaking and gonna get out there. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing is you have to trust so much your receivers. Yeah. j can you make that throw? No. no. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you're, you're D1 quarterback, man. Not that, anymore. That, that's a, well, back in the day, could you? That's a tough throw. Like, how, how often could you be that accurate? Yeah, that's a tough throw. I mean, I'd probably, I can make the throw, but. Right. I mean, I'd like. To, I'd have to throw it earlier. I don't have, right. I didn't have that good of, like, I mean, I'd have four, to throw it now. four out of 10 times, would you get it to that spot? Perfect. Right. You know? I mean, that's just, boom. Perfect, dude. That's hard. Of course, Rogers doesn't do anything with it. 
for Amari. Yeah, at least pretended he was going to. You guys like Amari Rogers? Not really. No. Nah. I mean, good college. He's player. fine for a college quarterback or college receiver, but I don't. I mean, best case scenario, he's a day, f- you know, a late day three guy next year. Were you going to say day four? I almost said day four. <laughs> that's, that's a UDFA. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. Is there a team you hope Lawrence goes to? It doesn't matter. I, I, that's what I was just going to say. I'm not sure that it really truly he's, matters. He's Watch, Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, where it doesn't matter where he goes. Watch yep. New England. Good Lawrence. Stop. Dude, that would be. Don't say that. But how long is Belichick going to coach for, though? He's pretty old. If he has him, forever. Yeah, but he's like almost 70 already. He'll coach till he's 80 then. Dude, I love Belichick. Me too. <laughs> I love the. Did you guys watch the Saban and Belichick sit down thing? Yeah, I love that stuff. Hey, don't don't get me excited saying First the Bears, the man. Don't get me excited. Oh my gosh, I would. <laughs> the Bears. I, I don't mean, think they'll be that bad. The Bears. You have no idea how excited I would be. Oh my gosh. They won't be first overall pick bad. And the defense is too good. Yeah. Once again, man coverage, just great awareness, stepping up in the pocket, seeing a lane, and oh, okay, I'll get the first down. No problem, runs out of bounds, makes the yeah. smart play. I don't know, j If you lose David Montgomery, though, I mean, that's like the whole team. Basically. Nick said our bet's not off, Garrett. I don't even remember what your bet was. What was your bet? I said David Montgomery would be a top 24 running back this year. Oh, okay. 10 bucks. Yeah. Was, it, was it not on a per-game basis? Did you not specify Did he say that? Anything about no, injuries? I didn't. I didn't but come anything. on. I mean, that's like given. You know, I'm kidding, man. You, you already know it's not going to happen either way. So it's 10 bucks. I'll send you 20 tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> I'll send you twenty tomorrow. To shut up. Uh, I'm gonna make a lot of money then, just making bets like that. Just be annoying and give me money. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you bet against yeah. David Montgomery, you're gonna win more than you're gonna Did lose. we talk about the play at all? I did. You, you did. guys were okay. too busy arguing, but I did. Good scramble. All right, moving on. Forty-five to seven. Crush one. Yeah. Wow. Oof. Great catch. Who's 14? Uh, I think that's Frank Ladson. No, it's not. No, Ladson's two, isn't he? Yeah, I and think 14 is. And, oh, um, I don't know. I don't know how I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Because Galloway wasn't playing the tight end. He wasn't playing at this point. But here's here's what I like about this play. Like, the touch that he has on this, this Overton. football. Overton. DeAndre Overton. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Overton. Man, he's, uh, he's been there yeah, a while. But that, this is another one of those footballs that's a that's a us or nobody football, and that's what I like to see. Like when you can when you can take shots downfield, when you can take big play shots, and you you you're running such little risk because you're making throws like that where the DB had no chance to actually make a play on that football. It, it's it's so nice. It's so nice. It's it's such a thing of security uh, to to know that yeah I can have my quarterback out there play play a you know big play risky play. And he's going to make a smart decision and, and throw an accurate football. It's just, it's really nice to see. That's so nice. So nice. So, all right, Jay Wack, I think you're up. I think that was my last one. All right, North Carolina. This game was a good game. Yeah, didn't didn't UNC, didn't they lose this one on a 10 yeah. two-point conversion? Yeah, it went down to the wire. Um, I don't Same know what, what you would call this concept, Nick. Um. I call it just like an over route. Got the runoff. A lot of teams run this. I don't. What do you call it? It's like a. I forget the concept name. I can't. It. I can't. I can, yeah, but that's. That's. I mean, that's a, a clear and a deep over. It's. It's easy. You're clearing out. Look at that. A three yeah. people went with him. Here, real but, quick, just because but, this is this is pretty big news. So uh, I know this is basketball, not football. But both LA teams, the Clippers and the Lakers, voted to strike and end the rest of the, their NBA season. Every other team decided to keep playing. What? So the Clippers and Lakers apparently, uh, and that was according to Bleacher Report, just decided to be done with their season. Wow. Kind wow. of unheard of, especially for two teams that have, you know, legitimate title aspirations. Yeah, wow. that's crazy. So sorry. What's about up, that, Anthony? But... Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for everybody dropping by. Um, wrapping up Trevor Lawrence here. Uh, we got, let's see, third and two. So they need to convert here. Uh, down seven nothing early to North Carolina. Just gotta clear out with an over. Um, 
decent ball here. Good ball. I mean, he gets a completion. I would like to see him get there a little earlier. Um, well, it's pretty safe too, j because, I mean, it's the play action. They're hoping the backer will come up and the other receiver will clear him out. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a pretty safe concept for the situation too. For sure. I just – it takes some three hitches to get there. One, two, three. I mean, get there. Get the ball out. Right. Um, What's he looking at? Yeah, there's not much to read here. So just hmm. boom, 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 boom. You know, it's kind of waiting, but completes it, gets the first down, play gets made. So someone said whole season. I thought it was just a game. Are the Bleacher sure Report saying, right? yep, hmm. voted to not contribute to the NBA season. Every other team devoted to continue. And this think, just happened like eight minutes ago. Interesting. Wow. Thanks, Woj. Got it. Second like and Woj. 15. Me too. Second and 15. Still down seven here. Backed up. Sam Howell. <clears throat> so he got cover two man. He's just gonna oh. he's gonna rip it. Oh. On a rope. Yeah, and cover two man, you know, you don't have to really worry about looking off too much. Um, just puts it right on a rope. Grip it and rip it. Look at that. And, and you want to talk about arm strength, too. Sometimes you just have to put it in that area, and he's just throwing that as hard as he can. And I'll say this, because I've been there. Jaywack, you've been there. When got, like, There's like, hey, that guy's got a good arm. Then there's like strong arms. It's hard to catch it. If you're not like, you know what I mean? Yeah. The other quarterback on my team, um, Pat, he's a six, five kid, dude, he could wing it. And I remember warming up with him. I'm like, damn dude, just chill out. Like my hands would be burning. Like, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and honestly, and, and we could be biased, but I think quarterbacks have some of the best hands on the team in general. Cause they're always catching. They're always, you know, doing stuff like that. Yeah. But man, there's, there's just a different level when you have like Lawrence ripping it right there. That's, you know, Brett, Brett Favre would break fingers, you know. Yeah. You want to talk about some of that stuff. Third and four, still down seven, start of the second quarter. Um, we got... Bad snap. Yeah, bad snap for sure. A little spacing concept. But beautiful back shoulder throw here to T. Higgins. This is a... We said it earlier. This is a NFL Sunday throw right here. Great timing. Great touch. I love the touch on that flick of the wrist. And, and I just always like how his feet are always pointing where he's going to go. Like the, the, he's just set up for success from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Shoulder width apart. Come on, Dixon, attack that guy more. Great ball. 14 7. Yeah, 14 7. Dude, North Howard Carolina, Brown, man. Nice man. Tough. They're coming at you. Yep. So, I think you should have seen this blitz coming. Why doesn't he throw the dig? I think he should throw the hot here. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna call it dig. But yeah, it's like a, it's like a levels concept. The guy come in the middle, not yeah, the eighty four here. I think he he floated a little too far. Anyway, yep, but you should have sat right now. Boom, right there. But throw right behind hit. when that guy's gonna wrap around him. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I think you should hit eighty four like now. Oh, it doesn't right have time. Where, I see. Yeah, right where the blitz comes from right now. Yeah. And they, and they teach you that to, to replace the blitz. Yeah. Generally. So Throw into the blitz. Yeah, yeah he, he faded. He should have seen that. Or throw it in the mess. dirt. Throw, throw it at his feet. Don't take the, the yards, you know? Yeah. I mean, they did a good job of disguising it. Typically on these is a good tell will be the safety will kind of cheat down a little bit because they're they're running man and it can be kind of a tell that the guys that's covering the wide receiver is probably coming mm -hmm. um but they do a good job of disguising it without really telling you mm -hmm. yeah they, they, they stack is what you're saying right right yep yep yeah. so he, he needs to see that stuff 79 doesn't even touch that guy. He just waits for the second guy. That's weird. Like put your whole season out. just dropped. Said, seven. check that. Check that, Garrett. Said the NFL whole NBA's. season. Man, What's I was that? enjoying watching some basketball. Oh, geez. So now everybody's out. I don't know. I just. Hmm. Right, I know for sure two boys. teams were out. I didn't realize they were all. 
we're almost an hour and a half in. 14, seven, third nine. Yeah, check that, Garrett. Let's see, see if you can find it. it Ooh. All I'm seeing right now is there was some frustration in the meeting towards Bucks blindsiding on the walkout plan. Bucks George Hill admitted he was the first to start conversation pregame about the boycott. Um, Dude, Nick, I mean, that's insane. Look at the way he climbs the pocket here. This is fundamental mm -hmm. right here. I mean, right here. You avoids. practice this type of drill right here where you pull your shoulder up, pull your shoulder down, duck through, come up, and two hands on the ball. Yeah, as of right now, it's still just the Lakers and the Clippers. Okay. From everything I'm seeing. I mean, that's that's a cross his body kind of throw. Dude, he's too. so good at throwing on the run. Dude, look at that. How do you... On the money, on this helmet. Way, throwing that way. <laughs> Dude. Just make it a play. He's special. Making a play. That's your first overall pick right there. I know people are trying to not act like close. it's not a given. It's it's a given. It's, he could tear his ACL and he'd be the first pick. Like there's no reason you'd go anywhere else. Yeah, this is like a Andrew Luck type prospect here. Um, second and ten versus Ohio State in the playoffs. Down Big ten. Game. Man to man. Yeah, he does such a great job to be able to to hit guys on the run. Yeah. And that's the thing that that you know helps me believe that he could have some really early success at the next level. Cause chances are the team he's gonna go to is trash. You know, and so he's probably gonna have to be moving around a lot uh behind there and, and it still looks like that. You know, obviously, you don't want that for a young rookie quarterback, but it looks like he'll he'll still be just fine. Why, why did they all cut? I don't know. <laughs> like, why? It's it's very rare to see a whole offensive line do that. Can can both the center and guard cut at the same guy? Right here, fifty three in the middle. Legally, honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't know either because I, I know you can't low high low him. Right, but two too low. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. N nothing D lineman hate more than getting cut. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, they get so pissed. Oh, man. Yep, they get so pissed. I, I know. I know conversations when we were like the bad team, you know, going and getting beat up by Auburn and Georgia. The DNs would be like, "Hey, man, I'm not gonna make you look that bad. Just don't cut up my knees. I got a career." Who do you guys think's gonna be the worst team in the NFL this year? Like, who do you think will have the first? Overall? I mean, the Jacksonville Jaguars are really trying hard to be. No, Washington. For sure. Washington probably will. They trade away Trent Williams. I'm not a huge Haskins fan. They lost Geis. I wasn't a huge believer, but still, he's talented. They lost Harmon. Yeah. Their defense isn't bad, though. The defense would but be that's the thing. They, they have a good defense, whereas Jacksonville doesn't have any defense. They traded away their entire defense. Yeah. And their offense isn't that good. And they would take a quarterback, even if they have a guard. I mean, you're taking Lawrence. Uh, you either know, one's going to take one. You don't know. They're taking Lawrence, man. What if Gardner bro? does decent? You still don't pass on that. You still yeah. don't pass on that He's, opportunity Lawrence to take better. that guy. Lawrence will take you to the Super Bowl. I'm, if you're not the number one pick, I'm saying. Oh, I mean. If you're like four or five. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. I mean, I was just talking about who do you think will have yeah, the no, Yeah, we're saying 1-1. One, one. Jets are going to be bad. They'll probably be pretty bad, too. Um, I mean, Cincinnati probably won't be great right out of the gate, but obviously they got their guy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The Chargers could be bad. The, yeah, I was going to say, there's there's always one team that like you kind of think is going to be good, and they just they just tank. I like Anthony Lynn on Hard Knocks, though. I do, too. I, I do like him, and I like the defense. He's so but genuine. Man, like, I don't know. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Third and ten. Still down Maybe Chicago 10. does it. Maybe they do it. Yeah, I mean. Dude. No. Yeah. Falling away. How? Falling away. That guy's going to hit his hand. You know who's bearing down on him? Chase Young. Second overall pick this year. That guy's not good. What? <laughs> what is that throw? Top three pick, all Buckeyes. What's that? That throw. That's I mean, insane. To be honest with you, he probably doesn't need to scramble. I don't know why. If, they're, if nope. I am going to be nitpicky, yep. I hate when guys. Yeah, actually had a good pocket. Yeah. There's something Baker did a lot last year for the, for Cleveland. I thought, you know, his line wasn't great, so he had in his mind that he had to run around and make plays. And a lot of times these guys don't need to. Just yep. stay in the pocket. Don't create your own pressure. 
Um, I thought he did that here. Kind of got wigged out, but I mean, still makes a fuck play. <laughs> hey, we have to start putting NSFW on here. I don't care. Rich said I could say whatever I want. So Rich said ghost. <laughs> Rich says ghost. <laughs> Did grip it and rip it again, man. Post route, boom. It's kind of a corner post. It's a great route by Ross. Yeah. Watch him here. Didn't you hesitation. pick him up in our C2C draft pretty late? Yeah, because people were waiting on him. I mean, sure. I don't, who, he benefits from this, you know, if it's a lost season. Yeah, and yeah. he gets an extra year eligibility. Yeah, if he gets healthy. Yeah, that's the scary part is, is he going to be able to play? So I hope for him he can. For the stream, the ruling the NCAA ruled, no matter if these guys play this year, they will still be granted an extra year of eligibility. So Which is super interesting. It's super interesting, especially well, for think, the draft. I think it supports players if they're worried about their health. Yep. Which I think is they should do that. Yeah. Yep. Nope, so I think, if I think you're a, a senior move. like Kellen Mond and you're playing in the SEC this year. You can come back and play again next year hmm. without losing eligibility or anything. It's crazy. Um, and if be, you're an it, underclassman, you will have a waiver if it goes and for, to use past the 21-22 season. So if you're a junior and you play your senior year next year and you wanted to play again the year after that, you could play and use your waiver. However, it's up to the schools if they want to still honor your scholarship because after the 21-22 season – those players will count towards the, the uh, team's roster and scholarship limits. However, next year they won't. So anything after the next year, it will. And what will make it really interesting is, you know, people freak out about like age for running backs. Well, we could have, you know, a guy that was already a fifth year senior getting an extra year, yeah. you know? And so we could have 25 year old running backs coming out, mm -hmm. uh, 24 year old running backs. So it's just going to be really interesting with, with all of this, to see, you know, what, what players choose to do. And then, then you have guys like, we know he's crazy talented, so it's not a big deal, but you know, guys like Rondell Moore, who really, we will have only saw him play his, his freshman year before he goes to the NFL. He played what, two games this sophomore year, three games. That's all I needed to see. Yeah. Absolutely. But you know, that's going to be the interesting part with, with guys yeah. like that, where, you know, there'll be players that we haven't seen play in a couple seasons so it's it's going to be really fascinating how all this plays out. The other thing to think about is could it rewrite the NCAA records if you got a guy that plays an extra year, yeah, you know, five seasons. Yeah, that's a good point. It'll it's really help. Yeah, those if ETN teams decides that. to come back again, again, you know, like he's breaking all kinds of records. It's yeah. really going to help those teams like that rely on veteran players. Boston uh, College. Yeah. Yeah. Those mid-level Power Five teams, Iowa, Minnesota. Um, Rolled the boat. Baby. So this this first and ten here, um, he he wants to throw this this route up top, and I think he he should like throw the ball, trust it, and I, I think he sees his receiver like maybe not out of his break yet. I don't know. Um, but I think kind of brick you, know, is that? you see fields. I know it's it's weird. It's like a pure wet. But to be fair, that's the be best corner of college football. Like, if you're gonna yeah. hesitate anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a kudo, right? Yep. Take yep. your hitch, throw the ball, trust it. It'll be there. Fields does that. We saw it five different times of him mm -hmm. doing the same thing. Trust, trust it. Trust offense. Trust like your guys. Weird whip. Throw the ball. Thing he was trying to do there. Still a good throw. <laughs> Still a good throw. Yeah. So just being nitpicky. Gazelle on the loose. Whoop. God, this oh, play boy. stole my heart. Oh boy. He almost ran out of bounds on his own. He really did. He's talking shit. QB draw. Gazelle on the loot. Right here, Fields went down in that one play, and here he's like, nope, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Dude. Talking about fantasy points. 
That's the thing about a lot of these quarterbacks that have, have been coming out. It's almost all of these guys lately also have the ability to to run to get at least first downs. Game you know, changer. they're not the Yep, the game's changing so much. I mean, Burrow is is a very athletic quarterback. Obviously, Kyler Murray came out a couple years ago, super athletic. Tua can run a little bit. Obviously, both of these guys can run. Like most of the major prospects that we're seeing coming out of college now are, even if they're not traditionally considered like dual threat guys, have the ability to run and get first downs and make plays with their feet. I think that's I a can't... part of just the training being yep. better, too. But I mean, just want to show to be off. all around athletes as opposed to just yeah. I can't believe you're watching this. So that made we're talking. We're talking about forties. Uh, what do you guys think, uh, Trevor would run? I think he's faster than Fields. You think he's faster? Yes. Hmm. I was gonna say right around the same. Yeah, I think they're right around the same. I think. He might. I'll, I'll I'll bet you the ten dollars that you owe me for David Montgomery because he's not gonna finish top twenty four. That Lawrence is faster than Fields. And I think I think yep. I think Trevor has those longer strides, and so I think once he gets going, I think I think Fields will be quicker off the jump. Let's ask the chat. Type T Law if you think T Law is faster. Type Fields if you think Fields is faster in a forty yard dash. As I'm because they are so close. Yeah. Like it's hard. I don't know. And then where yeah, would you put the same. Trey Lance? I haven't watched enough to say definitively one. Probably right really around close. the yeah, right They're around really the close. same. I don't know. Yeah. He has a lot less agility than they do. Wade says Fields. Wade doesn't know anything. Wade, you don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne. Um, is that all we got, boys? No. Well, hurry I got up. one more. I just want to show the gazelle on the loose. Dude, he look at that juke. I love like you're juke, that yeah. you're that safety. That's embarrassing. You don't want to get juked out by a quarterback. Mm-hmm. No, sir. Unless it's those, Lamar, then it's acceptable. But get those locks go go. going. Less than two minutes to go. Bro, why do you have to put this play on? I know. It's such a good play though. Throws the man open <sighs> while fading back to the sideline. Oh, what a God. play. Yeah, it's like Michael Jordan in his prime or something. Like, what is this? You're killing it's on Okuda. Here, man. Fade into the sideline. It's on Okuda too. Yep. Yeah, Dude. but he's the thing is, is like he's falling away from this, and jumping in the air, fading away, but he still throws him open with a dime. Like and he leads it. Chase Young. Look right at that there. throw. Under Dude, two minutes to go in the that? playoffs. How do you get that accurate too? Like leading that far. Damn, dude, this is crazy. That's hard. <laughs> I feel like next you're going to show the Olave play where Justin Fields throws the pick just to Our put another talent. dagger in my heart. <laughs> That's so salty over there. Dude, that's, a, that's it's like insane. Even, it's like you don't even care about my feelings. Like, I I mean, I could never do that, ever. Yeah, that's and it's I, just I, such a hard I mean, throw. could you ever do that, J.Y.? No. Not that. You could. Garrett could. I, I, I wouldn't have been fast. I had a great I flag been football tackler. career in, in uh, intramurals. I was not fast. I ran like a five flat. So yeah. not yeah. fast. Um, I mean, would have been sacked. Would it would have threw it, but it would have been like not leading. Like you know, there's no way. Yeah. So that's insane. Wrapping up here. I mean, we're going long. These two guys are just absolute studs. Uh, so many tools to work with, especially when it terms of fantasy football. I don't. I think. That's obvious. Everyone knew that going into this film session. Um, but they they blew me away even more when I finally got to actually dig in. And what I've noticed tends to happen for us a lot is obviously if we watch both of these guys back to back, we tend to compare them a lot. And I feel like typically, and usually we end up agreeing, there's been a couple of times where we haven't, but we come out with, Oh, I like this guy way better than this guy. And we kind of end up dogging one of them because we like one so much more. Whereas I, f- I feel like we walked away with this one where, you know, yes, Lawrence is amazing. And yes, I do think they're different tiers, but Justin Fields is a very dang good quarterback as well. I, I like both of them more than I already did. And yeah. that rarely happens. Most times like, ah, I don't like the guy as much. That is rare for Nick. 
Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, and especially cause quarterback is my thing. I mean, that's been what I've coached the most. That's what I'm the most nitpicky about. They're not perfect. You know, you're going to miss reads. You're going to have things you should have done, but overall, and what these guys did in such high stake games, I mean, these might be more high stake games they're ever going to have in the NFL. You think of like the playoffs and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the college football playoff, it, it, that, that might mean more to you because, you know, you can lose a playoff game and come back and next year go to the playoffs. You might only have one shot in the college football playoff. Yeah. And so, you know, I know people are down on Lawrence versus LSU, but I mean, they were kind of outmatched and he's, he still did okay. Thanks, Wade. Really appreciate it, man. Appreciate the kind words. Glad you're finally able to join us. Yeah, we're yeah. usually on Wednesday nights. We were off last week. Um, but, yeah, really happy you're able to join us. I'm glad we finally got to do some quarterbacks, guys. I'm, I can't wait to do some more. I'd, l- I'd love to do Sam Howell first, Keaton Slavis, um, two mm-hmm. really young guys, freshman mm-hmm. last Trey year. Trey Lance. Yeah, Trey Lance. We'll get to him. Um, maybe some underdog guys that, you know, we like. I like Kenny Pickett from Pitt. I talk about him a lot. Um, he'll be coming, going to the senior bowl. Well, and it looks like uh-huh. there's a good shot that we will have, uh, one of these college quarterbacks on the show as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, reveal that later once we lock in a date. Yep. But, um, yeah, as, of, as it sits right now, Justin Fields is 21 years old. Uh, and he's about six months older than Trevor Lawrence, who's 20. So these guys are so young. They still have so much development to, to go through. Um, and in terms of like us couch scouts, I like to say, like, because we can't meet with these guys and bring them into the hotel room, throw some tape up on the screen, and tell them our thought, tell them to give us their thought process, even though <laughs> we've been having some prospects on, on the show, which is nice. Um, we're not going to be able to sit down with Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields. So no. it's so hard to evaluate quarterbacks like that Mm -hmm. because we don't know what's going on between the ears. And so much of that position is mental processing, um, how you are under pressure. Um, you know, just how are you as a leader? Just those little things that we can't evaluate as Twitter scouts and stuff like that. Um, that I don't, that's why I don't like to actually do spend too much time as a fantasy analyst breaking down quarterbacks because I like to just, I'll go off of um, draft capital and understanding, you know, those guys are going to get their early shots, investing capital in those guys because they hold the most value and stuff like that. But if you are able to find some deeper sleepers, then deeper sleepers, then that's good. I mean, you guys have any final thoughts before we close this out? Nope, I'm good. Nope, this was fun. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Don't know who we're doing yet. Until next time, we out of here.